Good morning, Mr. Keith Chua, the trustee of the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Trust Fund, and uh, his uh, wife and uh, children. Professor Lino Wee, uh, Vice Dean of Research. Distinguished speakers, panelists, distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends. Uh, let me warmly welcome you to NUS, and thank you very much indeed for coming despite the thunder, lightning, and rain to uh, help us uh, celebrate this uh, very important event. It is really uh, wonderful and very heartening to see so many stakeholders of our diverse and dynamic social work community <clears throat> gather for the official launch of the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Endowed Research Fund this morning. The NUS Social Work Department and NUS are, are truly honoured to be the recipient of the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Endowed Research Fund. This research fund is a bold and innovative program that will enable the department and NUS to engage with frontline practitioners to conduct practice research that will enhance service provision and delivery in the social work sector. Well, this practice research approach strives to engage stakeholders, including service providers, service users and caregivers, in the entire research process from the conceptualization of ideas to implementation and dissemination for practice. This is really critical because the whole idea and the, the innovative element of this program is that the research and its findings are meant to be translational in nature. That is, it is envisaged that the outcomes of this research will help inform frontline work and also be adapted into new teaching and training materials that will provide not just up-to-date but also practical and contextualized knowledge and insights for students and professionals. From the view of social work practitioners and professionals, this fund will allow for partnering with NUS to access academic expertise which will enable the better analysis and understanding of specific challenges, solutions and outcomes. And I think this evidence-based approach will be very important because it will help us to better refine solutions and practices which will further increase the benefit and impact to the individuals, families in the community. From the point of view of NUS and our researchers, this fund represents a tremendous new opportunity to build and to extend our networks beyond the university and to help us even contribute even more our expertise to tackling and solving present-day challenges that will have a real-world impact. I think the university will benefit greatly from uh, this program because through the close interaction and work with practitioners and professionals on the ground, we too will learn a great deal. We will obtain a deeper and more complete understanding of the major issues in social work arena, as well as help us to identify new opportunities where we can create and produce greater positive impact, both in the practice arena, but also in terms of education and research programs. I think this uh, combining together of rigorous scientific and evidence-based approach with uh, a deep engagement with real world and frontline perspectives and practices, this is really innovative and I'm, con I'm confident that this new program will have a major impact on enhancing the social work sector, improving the accessibility, delivery and design of services, enhancing the well-being of service users and contributing to policy discussions at the organisational agency and national levels, but most importantly, I think, to uh, help us do an even better job for the people in the community that we all serve. Of course, this program would not be possible without the strong support and vision of the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Trust Fund and its trustee, Mr. Keith Chua. Mrs. Lee was well known as a pioneering philanthropist who believed in improving outcomes and benefiting the community through bold and forward-thinking innovations. Mr. Keith Chua is also really well known as a visionary with a deep sense of uh, feeling 
of for the community and the need to work in innovative ways to improve the conditions within the community and the people who live in it. And uh, Mr. Keith Chow, of course, is a very strong supporter of uh, many programs in NUS, for which we are very grateful. And these programs uh, have revolved around initiatives that cultivate community consciousness and that promotes community well-being. So on behalf of the Social Work Department and the rest of us in NUS, I'd like to express our really deep appreciation uh, to the fund and to Mr. Keith Chua for uh, partnering NUS on this very important initiative and endeavour. On our part, uh, my colleagues and I will work really hard to ensure that this important new initiative will be a great success and that the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Endowed Research Fund will become a pioneering platform that will catalyze research grounded practices, advance knowledge and delivery, and ultimately lead to the betterment of our community and our nation. So we will, are fully committed to this. We are very excited with the opportunity and we want to thank Keith and the Trust once again for giving us this chance to work with you once again on yet another very important initiative. Thank you. Professor Tan Cho Chuan, President of the National University of Singapore. Professor Lionel Wee, Vice Dean of Research. Associate Professor Ong Chang Wei, Vice Dean of International Re Relations and Special Duties. Associate Professor Esther Goh, Head of Social Work Department in US. Distinguished speakers and panelists, representatives from the various social work uh, organizations and agencies. Practitioners in the social work field, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to everyone. And personally, I feel very honored to be here today with everyone in this nice, cozy auditorium. It heartens me to see such a good turnout today, despite, again, the weather being one of the factors. And I would like to certainly thank everyone for supporting and appreciating the significance behind the launch of this fund. I would also like to thank the distinguished speakers and panelists who are here with us today to help enhance our knowledge of the local work, so the local social work practice research landscape. As co-trustee of the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Trust Fund, allow me now to just say a little bit more about the fund, how it came about and our objectives. However, before we get into that, I would like to just touch a little bit more on the general subject of philanthropy. Records of philanthropic endeavors in our nation go back to the 1800s, with education and health being two examples of key areas of focus. Active philanthropic giving and the establishment of several substantial foundations were already in place by 1965, which was the year when Singapore became independent. With basic provisions taken care of by the government, the philanthropic dollars contributed by foundations were often channeled into areas that were yet to be, governed, yet to be covered by government-funded services. Similar to other philanthropic foundations, the Mrs. Lee Chun Guan Trust Fund was engaged to was established to engage in charitable purposes. My great-grandmother left behind a legacy of supporting the evolving needs of society, in her case, society of her day, which in terms of timing is about 100 years ago. The causes in education and health care in Singapore and abroad, which my great-grandmother believed in, continue to receive support through the trust set up in her name. It was interesting for us to discover, so, so our records as a family uh, go back up to a limited time, but it was interesting to discover in a recent uh, research that in 1922, uh, my great-grandmother laid the foundation stone for the first St. Andrew's uh, Hospital in Singapore. And that was an interesting connection that we didn't know um, 
We're still trying to find the silver trowel that was given to her uh, when, she, when she laid that foundation stone. And we're still trying to locate, locate the foundation stone if we can because the building is actually still standing today, although no longer functioning as a hospital. Um, the trowel is probably something that may have been, uh, may, may, may have been uh, probably acquired and, 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 uh, and, and circulated or, or passed around uh, in the Second World War because uh, her, house, uh, her, her house that she was living in was left vacant uh, uh, um, during, that, during that period and was used as headquarters at that time. So, um, and, and, and when we went back there, I, I guess the trial was one of the things that was, uh, may, was not left behind. So anyway, uh, it was interesting to know that, that, that one, of her, one, of, one of her contributions, uh, her lasting contributions was, was uh, uh, supporting the establishment of St. Andrew's Mission Hospital uh, 100 years ago. Um, for us, as an example today, our trust fund, uh, since 2012, uh, we have been supporting the non-profit work of children of Cambodia, uh, whose objectives are to reduce infant mortality in Cambodia. And we, support, and we have been part of the collaboration supporting that work by building a neonatal ward, by encouraging the sharing of medical expertise, and facilitating uh, the training of medical personnel. In addition to supporting such causes, we believe that there is a need for philanthropy to keep up with the times. So for myself, I had this opportunity after recognizing that not much was being done in the study of philanthropy in Asia. I approached the then Dean of the National University of Singapore Business School, this is about 11 years ago, with the idea of introducing philanthropy as a subject of mainstream study at university level. I thought the business school would be an ideal platform uh, for this uh, subject to be studied and perhaps uh, uh, delivered uh, because as a university, uh, our business school has become well known as uh, not just Singapore, business, not, not just in Singapore, but uh, in Asia as well. And since we teach our students how to make money, shouldn't we also be helping them to, to think about how to give it away as well? So, uh, as a result of some of that, as, as, as a result of that uh, discussion, as mentioned earlier, uh, it resulted in the uh, commencement of the Center for Social Entrepreneurship and Philanthropy in 2009. And today, we continue that work. Uh, the, the center has since been renamed the Asia Center for Social Entrepreneurship and Philanthropy. And uh, the uh, the project that uh, personally I I'm hoping we will give. Uh, effort and attention and will be, will be also helpful to our, our nation and our society moving forward is a research on 200 years of philanthropy that will take us from 1819 until 2019. Today I'm very pleased to announce the extension of this partnership and collaboration with NUS by supporting the NUS Social Work Department in their practice research efforts. I would like to thank in particular President of NUS, Professor Tan, for perhaps kicking off this initiative and this process when he communicated with me a couple of years ago about possible ways to collab collaborate with the NUS social work department. Many Asian countries today are still looking to research in the social work sector uh, than in, in the Western world. I'm sure there will still be valuable initiatives we can continue to draw from other countries. In one of my other areas of interest and work in my continuing work in mental health services. One recent area that we studied from the United States is the mobilizing of peers in our in service delivery. Peers referring to persons in recovering from men, in, in recovery from uh, uh, mental illness, illness, having stabilized from treatment, and who now choose to help others in recovery. However, having said that, there's certainly value and opportunity to conduct research in the context of our society and our culture. It will help us better understand how the situation is in this current phase of our economic and social development. So therefore, may I encourage and invite all, so all charities, social work agencies, to take the opportunity and time to prepare to make the necessary adjustments so that social work practices can be grounded 
in, uh, in, 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 in research and evidence-based research. I hope that all of us will find this morning's event helpful, meaningful. I trust you're looking forward to listening and learning from our speakers and panelists as much as I am. And may I conclude with sincerely wishing everyone success in your social work research and practice endeavours. Thank you very much.